Hello and welcome back to The Note. The US markets were closed today for Thanksgiving holiday, so on the great American holiday, let's use that as an excuse to talk about the great American pastime of baseball, which it turns out does have some relevance for trading and investing. Now, this is the off-season for baseball when everything revolves around trades, try, uh, different teams trying to trade players between each other to make themselves stronger. Now, one very interesting proposal it concerns this man, Chris Sale of the Chicago White Sox, one of the best young pitchers in the league, but the White Sox are rather weak in hitting, even if they have a great young pitcher. So one Chicago White Sox message board, a group of fans, looked at a hypothetical trade in which they would trade Chris Sale for two guys from the Boston Red Sox. First of all, uh, Mookie Betts, very exciting young centre fielder, and then Xander Bogarts, who is a, also a very exciting young shortstop. When that trade was put to the White Sox fan base, only 20% thought it was a good idea. However, the rest were inclined to reject it out of hand. What are the Red Sox, though? They have pretty good young hitting, very poor pitching. Despite that, 100% of them said they would reject this deal. They were going to hold on to their own young hitters, even if that meant they couldn't have a great young pitcher like Chris Sale. Now, this is hard to explain unless it shows you what is known as the endowment effect, which is what psychologists find is an almost universal tendency for people to value what they already own more than anything else, simply because they own it. And this has relevance not just for trading baseball players, but also for trading stocks. If you uh, take a look at portfolios, as Cabot Research of uh, Boston did, they found that some 40% of them showed some signs of being damaged by the endowment effect. In the worst cases, this could cost them more than two and a half percentage points per year. Managers would be very good at picking stocks. They would buy a stock expecting it to double. It would rise 70%, say, very quickly, then it would stall. But because of the endowment effect, they would hold on to their winners, waiting for it to uh, go that extra mile, rather than taking profits and putting their skills towards choosing some other good stocks. Ultimately, this is probably due to fear. When you have already got a winner on your hands, you don't want to relinquish it to somebody else for fear that it will embarrass you by doing even better. That's certainly why baseball trades tend not to, uh, to be made. I suspect that trade between the White Sox and the Red Sox won't happen, or not even a version of it will happen, simply because people aren't prepared to run the risk of being embarrassed when somebody they trade away turns into a superstar. When it comes to investing, it's also very important. We have a tendency to fall in love with our winners, with our successful stocks that we have bought in the past and that can cost us rather than making a rational analysis that maybe it's time to sell and move on.